Learning a new language is hard. Hiring a human translator is expensive. Forget having to push buttons on your phone to translate a conversation in person. I will create an AI translator with Python to make translation more intuitive. When we speak English, it automatically translates to a language of our choice and speaks our statement. Then vice versa, when the person speaking the other language speaks back to us, meaning our translator is 100% voice interactive thanks to free AI-driven Python libraries. In four minutes, we will have an AI translator that is free, fast, and accurate. Throw an old bubble screen monitor at the like button if this sounds like the type of content you want. I will need to import libraries to perform speech recognition, language detection, translation, and text-to-speech conversion. First. I will import the speech recognition library, which will allow me to convert my voice input into text that the program can process. Next, I will import the PyTTSX3 library, which will allow me to convert translated text into speech. To perform language detection, I will import the detect function from the LangDetect library. To perform translation, I will import the translator class from the Google Trans library. Now that I have imported the necessary libraries, I can create instances of the classes I will be using. I will create an instance of the recognizer class from the speech underscore recognition library to recognize speech input. I will also create an instance of the translator class from the Google Trans library to translate text. Lastly, I will create an instance of the text to speech class from the Pi TTSX3 library to convert translated text into speech. Now that I have those objects set up, it's time to structure the logic of our program. First, I need to start a while true loop to keep my program infinitely running until I force the program to stop. I don't want to have to start the program for every translation. Instead, this will make it run through the code to translate for a voice input. Then loop back to listening for another voice input to translate. To perform speech recognition, I will need to set up the microphone as the audio source. I will use a with statement to ensure that the microphone is properly released when speech recognition is complete. Within the with statement, I will prompt the user to speak something. To calibrate the microphone to the ambient noise level, I will call the adjust for ambient noise method of the recognizer instance. This will make my program run more reliably if the room isn't perfectly quiet. I will then record the user's speech input from the microphone and store it as an audio file using the listen method of the recognizer instance. Next, I will start a try loop to wrap the rest of our code in so we can have error handling control. I will use the Google Speech Recognition API to convert the recorded audio file into text using the Recognize Google method of the Recognizer instance. I will also use the Detect function from the LangDetect library to detect the language of the recognized text. If the detected language is Spanish, I will use the Translate method of the Translator instance to translate the recognized text to English and store the translation in the translation variable. Then, I want to print the translation to the terminal. Now, I can use the TTS object I created earlier to speak the translation using the say method. I will also need to initiate the run and wait method to block the program execution until the speech is completed. If the detected language is English, I will again use the translate method to translate recognized text to Spanish this time. Let's print out the text translated to Spanish in terminal and use the TTS method to speak the text translated to Spanish. If the detected language is neither Spanish nor English, I will print an error message indicating that the language is unsupported. Now I just need some error handling to ensure that common errors get printed to terminal so we can understand if they occur, but doesn't cause our program to fail upon error message. This exception catches an unknown value error exception, which is raised when the speech recognition engine is unable to recognize the speech input. Then I will write one more accept statement to catch request errors which are raised when there is a problem with the Google speech recognition service. I'll have it print out the error message from Google in case I want to investigate it later. That is it. We now have a Python program that converts voice input from Spanish to English and English to Spanish Live. Let's test it out. All right, if you've been following along and wanted to compare your code, this is all 42 lines of code that we just walked through, and I'm going to be using that to run this program right now. Hi, my name is Austin. I don't speak Spanish, so I was hoping this program would allow us to have a conversation. Hola, mi nombre es Austin. No hablo español. Así que espero que este programa nos permita tener una conversación. Hola, ¿cómo está? Hi, how are you? Subscribe to AI Austin for more Python and AI tutorials.